What up, what up, what up, YouTube? We are gonna go through my most offensive jokes. Okay? Not about me, but about everybody else. So, buckle up, people. Here we go. What's the deal with keypads to get into restrooms, to get into bathrooms? You know, you're trying to get into a bathroom in the city at the Chipotle and they have a fucking keypad in there. It's like they're acting like it's the like it's the goddamn fucking newest iPhone, unreleased iPhone right in there, huh? Like some, some government building, government secret pass, you got a fucking retinal scanner. What, what's in there? Shit. That's one. Diana Nyad, she swam. This is true, she's in her 60s. She finally swam across Cuba. She swam from Cuba to Florida Keys, or to Florida. She swam like, like a lot of miles, maybe hundreds of miles or lots of miles. She swam this shit. Unfortunately for her, she forgot her passport. So she had to swim back. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Diana Nyad, she is old. She was she she's so old. Her ass looks like a plastic bag with nothing in it. Just wrinkles and flatness. Who am I? Why am I here? These are questions asked by the highest intelligence people of the world, philosophers and just smart people alike. And they're also asked by people with Alzheimer's, so take with that what you will. <sighs> These are classic jokes, people. I have one It has to do with button-up t-shirts. When you button up it all the way, it's like you're going Sunday to church. Then you can unbutton it a little one time, and then you can go on the date, and you'll button up it again, and you can go to you can go to the club with that same shirt. What's up, motherfucker? Friday night, you go to the club, and the next day, Saturday, you button up for your date, and then Sunday, you go to church with the same shirt on. That's a classic joke. I think whites and coloreds should be separated. They should be segregated. I'm talking about my laundry, people. <laughs> You know, you just want to separate colors and whites. <sighs> Classic. Plants are pets for lazy people. They say bad sex is like bad pizza. You know, they always say bad sex is like bad pizza, man, you know? Which is true, you know? Bad sex can make it burn to pee. Bad pizza makes it burn when you shit. <sighs> sex traffic, you know? The good news is sex traffic only happens during sex rush hour. So... They say nice guys finish last. But not when we're fucking, am I right? It's a good one. This is what I call the inappropriate interviewer interviewing Corey Feldman, who, as we know, was molested as a kid. Well, Corey, you were quite the heartthrob when you were younger. I can see why all those executives wanted to fuck you. That's an inappropriate joke, so that's a little, little much. Boy, I'm getting old, people. I remember, I remember, I remember more innocent times when the only thing, only time there were school shootings was when it was photo shoot day. When there was mass shootings at the school, it was when they were doing photo shoots in mass. Uh, I don't know how to say that joke, but it's a classic. It gets you offended, that's all that counts. That's all that matters. I was watching this detective TV show and they said this guy was in trouble for abusing a corpse. How can you abuse a corpse? You know, I mean, they're, it's inan inanimate. You know, the guy's probably like, hey, I ain't hear no complaints. Hey, hey, I didn't hear any complaints when I was fucking it. Maybe, I don't know. We'll work on that one. 
And here's the most offensive observation, joke, humor, whatever you call it. Picture 9-11, all those men falling down, like falling, jumping to their deaths. And then picture that song, It's Raining Men, playing in the background. It's raining men, hallelujah. It doesn't fit. Oh, the bittersweet irony of music. It doesn't fit when it actually does fit. You don't want to listen to that song. Okay. I got a solution to all the women who are sad that they're getting 75 cents per hour. Per, I'm sorry, per dollar for men. Just pretend you're in Canada. Just pretend you're working in Canada. Our dollar's worth 75 cents over there anyways. But you know what? Women would not even be happy with that. There, it's true, there's no way to please, there's no pleasing women. Women cannot be pleased. And I know a thing or two about not pleasing women. I got a three inch cock. Okay, oh shit, I gotta go guys. I, I'm, and then last thing I'll say, um, to solve the blood shortage in the world, uh, women should donate their used tampons. Okay, gotta go.